What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back once again, and we're going to be doing another series review today. And if you guys already are looking on screen, we're going to be talking about Wu Assassins. Guys, this literally just came out not long ago. Um, and I didn't even know what it was. I came across it on Facebook, and I did a little research on it, and saw the trailer. It looked amazing. <clears throat> and I started to watch it. And it took not even two days for me to watch the entire uh, season that they have out right now. And it's only 10 episodes. And first off, let me say, if you guys are fans of martial arts or Asian culture or Chinese culture, because uh, they do base a lot of that in the show, which is amazing. And also, if you guys are fans, let's say, with Iron Fist slash Avatar Last Airbender, that pretty much is Wu Assassins in, in a way. And the cast did an amazing job, may I say. The uh, the actors they had in here were phenomenal. I'm going to name, start naming a few here in a minute. But uh, we do have, uh, and I apologize if I butcher anybody's name in this, we have uh, Iko Uis. He plays as Kai. He is a chef that is trying to make uh, ends meet. And he's also the adoptive son of a triad leader who is played by uh, Brian Mann. And he, it has uh, powers, and Kai gets chosen to basically take out all these ones that have powers that are elemental powers like fire, metal, water, wood, earth. And we see that throughout the entire show. And he knows, and he's able to have different uh, powers by having disguise, like all these monks that sacrificed himself way back when are able to uh, help him with uh, martial arts as well as disguise himself so that way his enemies do not know who he is. And, and it was a great show. And we also have one of my favorite actresses in this, uh, Catherine Winwick. Love her. Much respect to her. Um, not just as a actress, but also as a fellow martial artist. She, not, and, and just being how she is and hands off to her. Also hands off to my man, uh, Tommy Flanagan, who did a badass role in this uh, series. I have not seen something from him since Sons of Anarchy. And he was a badass in this. Uh, we also got to see Summer Glau in this. She made it, played a short little role in this as well. Uh, but throughout the entire story, we did go from like back and forth between um, mythical powers to uh, a lot of what, what they put in here that was really powerful in its own right and a lot of people from what I was seeing online is comparing this to Iron Fist oh this is what Iron Fist could have been this is close to Iron Fist like I'm not exactly sure what they were trying to do when they were trying to do this show but I I personally it's like it like I said before it is like mixed between Iron Fist with Avatar combined and if you guys like martial arts, if you guys like action, you guys like comedy, you guys like that type of uh, deal that centers around this type of culture, this type of uh, this this type of uh, mythical uh, action, then you guys need to check this out because it was absolutely amazing. And um, I watched it within two days, and I, I became addicted by after, like the first episode. I was like, "Oh man, this is awesome! Like this is badass!" and Again, the story was great. I mean, he basically, uh, Catherine Warren plays a undercover uh, police officer, and we have where Tom Flanagan plays as a mafia leader who is over 500 years old. He was a Wu assassin at one point, and then now he is one of the uh, one of the Wu's that has power. And we see other uh, actors and characters that come along throughout the entire uh, season. But this was... It was bad. I keep saying badass, guys, because it was badass. It was it was something to enjoy, something new on Netflix that Netflix put on. Because ever since Netflix has taken off a lot of Marvel shows and other shows that have been on Netflix, Netflix had I've kind of strayed away from Netflix. And I'm like, eh, I, but this really grabbed my attention, and it takes a lot to grab my attention with Netflix or, or certain shows because they they want to put crazy stuff on there. But everybody has their uh, their likes or dislikes, but this was again. This was a great show. Uh, if you guys, I'm 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 fans of martial art. Uh, a fan of martial arts. I'm a martial arts myself. If you guys don't already know. So this really grabbed my attention. Um, 
on the mythical side, they really grabbed my attention because I was like, wait, that, that reminds me of like of uh, Avatar or, or whatever. And that would grab my attention. And the the story was so good. And we even got to see in the trailer Snoop Dogg even did a song for this show. And it was pretty good. Now, I do not know if it's getting picked up for a second season. I'm going to have to investigate that. But the way I'm just going to I'm not going to go and spoil it so much. But the way it ended, it does have potential for a second season. And we also get to see a lot of um, different cultural aspects. We get to see the, the Chinese culture aspect. We get to see the uh, Scottish uh, aspect from um, Tom, Tommy Flanagan's character. And we get to see a lot of uh, culture that's in this movie. And I like that. It was, it was really good. They pay a lot of uh, homage to um, Chinese uh, Asian culture. And that was absolutely amazing to see. Uh, of also of how they put there's a lot of stuff that goes on within Chinatown in San Francisco that a lot of people may or may not know unless you live there. Uh, I also got we also got to see a lot of uh, comedy in this that, that I did not see. There was a few uh, like kind of you know like shoot and fail type of type of messes, but other than that, it, it wasn't too serious. I mean. I don't think I was bored throughout the entire time. I think the only time I, I got bored maybe one time. And the only time I got bored was, I believe, with the character that played Tommy. The only time I got bored with him was when he was doing stupid crap. And then he actually turned his stuff around. I was like, all right, cool. But other than that, it, it was a great show. And we got to see uh, a few other faces. If you guys have been like, if you guys watch like, various movies you're going to see somebody in this show that you have seen in another show or another movie so i do recommend this um i give it maybe a 9 out of 10 uh there was some quirks in here that i wish they would have put in here they moved kind of quickly with the uh with the element uh i keep saying elements for some reason because they are elements but um with the woos and hopefully they go further in who the other woo assassins were because it goes way back thousands of years ago with this and they get to show you who was they, they only get to show two two Wu assassins plus the current which of course is Kai but hopefully we can see more if this does get picked up for another season I would love to see it get picked up for another season but I don't think we're going to hear anything for a while possibly I'm going to have to keep updated to see uh, about if the Wu assassins got uh, picked up which hopefully they do I really hope they do uh, because this would be something to enjoy, uh, possibly during the summertime or maybe uh, during the fall, uh, possibly. Uh, not exactly sure when they're going to be able to film again. Don't know how long this was to film. Uh, did not even know this was being filmed to begin with, but I'm glad I found it. I'm glad I was able to share this with you guys. Hope you guys are uh, ready to watch it like I am or go check it out right now. Uh, Go check out the trailer. Go check out one of the episodes. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about uh, the series. Did you guys enjoy it? Did you guys even care about it? Uh, did, if you watched it, what did you think about it? Um, what did you like about it? What did you not like about it? I, I'd like to know because they put a lot of different stuff in here that uh, really grabbed my attention and was absolutely entertaining. And I do think it deserve, deserves another season. But without further ado, guys, let me know what you think about the uh, series in the comments down below. Uh, what you think about the first season? Do you guys think it needs another season? Do you think, uh, if you guys even heard about it, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys are new to the channel, let's consider about subscribing. Links down below as normal. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome aboard our channel. Let's keep grinding for that 1K. I hope you guys are enjoying your night, your day, wherever you may be located in the world. If you're already new to the Games World family, welcome aboard. And I'll see you guys on the very next one.